Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. Excessive phosphorus in the water is the number one water quality issue we have in the United States today. It's a huge problem. Now, fortunately for us farmers, most of the phosphorus pollution doesn't actually come off the farm. It comes from things like water treatment plants and sewage treatment plants. But as farmers, we have to do a very good job of managing phosphorus. And if you're a non-farmer, we'll tell you the steps that most farmers are taking to manage the phosphorus on their farms. Well, here's the big problem, Brand. Phosphorus is non-leachable. You put it on on top of the ground, it pretty much stays on top of the ground or in the top inch or so of soil. Well, when you think about if you're ever going to have erosion from your farm, what's going to erode away? Not the bottom 12 inches of your soil. It's going to be that top inch or so, or maybe even the top half an inch of soil. Well, if you've applied all your phosphorus in that top half inch of soil, you're going to set yourself up for some problems. Now, think about this. If you don't have a farm and you say, I don't have a farm, I just put on some fertilizer on my yard. Well, think about it. What kind of fertilizer are you putting on? It probably has some phosphorus in it. And where do you spread that fertilizer? Right on top of your yard. Are you watering it in? Are you taking time to ensure that that phosphorus moves down in your soil? It's pretty challenging, but it's one thing that a lot of people aren't aware of when they're buying fertilizer. But the problem is, if you have a lawn and you're spreading that phosphorus out on top of the ground, you can say, well, let's water it in and move it into the ground, but it doesn't move into the ground. It might go in just a little bit, but not a whole lot. So it is a major issue. Well, what farmers are doing is they are actually injecting a lot of that phosphorus down into the ground. Like on our farm, for example, we use a practice called strip till where we put that fertilizer down about 10 inches deep in the soil. If we're putting manure on that has phosphorus, we inject that down about four to six inches in the soil. So if we keep that off the soil surface, we're in pretty good shape. The other big thing, like Darren said, is the only way this phosphorus is really going to get into water since it doesn't leach down through the soil is it's going to get in with soil with erosion. So what farmers are doing now is they're adding tile to their field to reduce erosion. They're leaving more residue on top of the ground to reduce erosion. Some farmers are even putting in terraces and buffer strips along rivers. There are a lot of different practices that a farmer can do to make sure that that soil doesn't end up in the water. And again, if the soil doesn't end up in the water, neither will the phosphorus. Okay, well I talked a little bit about lawn, so I better give you a couple of things to keep in mind. One good time to apply phosphorus is right after you've done aeration for your soil. So you've pulled those plugs out, now you've got a chance to get some phosphorus if you spread it out at that time, down a little bit deeper, maybe a couple inches down into those plugs. The other thing is with your lawn clippings, you wanna make sure you're keeping them on your lawn. A lot of times in town, it's real easy to blow those clippings off onto the street, well, then they end up right in the in the gutter and they wash down with rainwater and you end up with phosphorus going right into your rivers and streams. But that that's way. exactly why phosphorus in fertilizer is banned in some regions. I know I've got some friends up in Minneapolis where they can't even buy phosphorus fertilizer there. <laughs> well, yeah, they got to drive all the way across to Wisconsin <laughs> to get their fertilizer. But, but, but you think about that, it's just lack of education. Those guys don't know. Well, why is it banned? Well, because we don't want to have an education program and tell people what they're doing. All we have to do is tell people, look, this is what happens with phosphorus this is how you can use it safely people will follow the rules I, they just don't know what they are yeah but i put did, it on the bag of fertilizer yeah but i'm going to disagree a little bit the reason why it has to be banned is even when you know what it is there's still not a good method to put phosphorus fertilizer six inches down in a lawn how are you going to do that I mean, nobody's going to do that. So that's the reason why the phosphorus is banned in a lot of areas. And quite frankly, I don't think phosphorus should be used in lawns in most areas, especially areas that are at risk for that water running off, taking clippings, taking soil, and then we've got water Well, here's water the other thing. Problems. When you first establish a lawn, you could inject some phosphorus down maybe at six or eight or ten inches deep. And a that lot That would be of fine. It. So you could put your phosphorus out, put a yep. safe cover of soil over it, then make sure you have a nice thick lawn and keep your clippings on the lawn. Your grass is pulling that phosphorus out of the soil. As you cut those clippings off, they have a lot of fertility value in them. Yep. Leave them on your lawn. Well, once again, phosphorus is fairly non-leachable, so it's not going to move down through soil. The reason why it gets to be a water quality issue is if you add more phosphorus to the water, usually you have a lot more algae. Phosphorus is the number one limiting factor for algae blooms in water, so we don't want to get that phosphorus in the water, and you just have to make sure that you don't have soil erosion as a farmer, you don't have grass clippings or anything else moving off if you're a non-farmer, keep that phosphorus 
out of the water and we're all going to be a lot better off. Well, understanding how phosphorus works is very important to being successful as a farmer, but so is good weed control. We'll show you how important this weed is during our Weed of the Week segment coming up later in the show.